I can't make money from my store anymore. Yeah. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You've got a hundred thousand person email list. Yeah. Like that is just money. Yeah. All you got to do is find product. I'm here today at uh, Ice Stack event and Liz Herrera, if you know Ty Lopez, basically she's the person who, who helped Ty Lopez to, to blow out to such enormous size um, with affiliate marketing. She's extremely knowledgeable and like she's like the information that she shared just, just at the event and we just had a conversation just tremendous. Uh, so Liz is a specialist in information products. So it's not exactly like e-commerce, but I think that every business should have some kind of like information or consulting part because the profit margins on that are, are, are huge. Right. You know, like I was, I was, uh, I didn't tell you this earlier, Alex, uh -huh. but I actually know a lady that has an info product for daycares uh -huh. and she's like crushing it. Like, I mean, it's just for people that own daycares uh -huh. and now she's starting an agency. She does like uh, events like this uh -huh. for people that own daycare. So like you said, having an info product doesn't mean that you're selling yeah. uh, how to make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can mean you're selling advice and information that people are looking for and like a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's basically like, so like basically have like a niche, right? And you serve that niche, right? Yeah. And you also mentioned on, on at the event, you mentioned something that like, if you have like a list of people that are like engaged, like you're your subscribers, that it's okay to kind of like promote different offers to them. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you have like a good product, mm -hmm. like even in a uh, physical products, because a lot of your people do physical products, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But like they have these gigantic lists. Like I've, I've, I know some friends that have like hundreds of thousands of people and they're mm -hmm. like, I, I can't make money from my store anymore. Yeah. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You've got a hundred thousand person email list. Yeah. Like that is just money. Yeah. All you got to do is find products mm -hmm. that are complementary to yours or very mm -hmm. unique mm -hmm. and start mailing out your list yeah. and sell them those products. And you can collect affiliate commission from the other person. Yeah. I, I know the guy who has like uh, 100 plus thousand people on his list. He's in boxing niche. And uh, yeah, he, he can sell him t-shirts. He could make his own t-shirts. Like you don't even have to get your competitor product. Yeah. Make your own t-shirts, make your own mm -hmm. mugs, do whatever you got to do. It's pretty simple, but most people overlook that. Yeah. And it's like, and what are you doing? And how, how, how did you start with like internet marketing? Uh, I've, I've actually been online since 1999. Oh, okay. I think that was my very first website. I had a site that uh, sold comic books and Pokemon. So oh, really? Pikachu was like my very, <laughs> so I love Pikachu. He's like a deer to me. So uh -huh. I love that dude. And he, uh, he taught me how to make money. <laughs> cool. Cool. And, and then you, you've been like a professional poker pro. Player, oh yeah. Yeah. Right? So I took a, I took a break from uh -huh. the Pokemon store and I got into professional poker and mm -hmm. I loved it. Like fell in love with it, played it for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then I had this quit when the department of justice shut down all the poker sites. So oh really? It was a rude awakening. So I had to jump back into e-commerce cause that's all I knew. Okay, and so then you you started to do like Amazon. Yeah, I, I got into Amazon because Amazon's like hot. Amazon uh -huh. sells your stuff yeah. for you, so I jumped into Amazon and, and been doing some e-com ever uh -huh. since. Cool. And you still have like information, like so you have basic like e-commerce and then again information products. So kind of like combined. Yeah, so I've, I've got Amazon stores that run mm -hmm. like pretty much on autopilot. Like I don't know if I can. I don't know what time is it in America right now. Uh -huh. It's probably my one of my Amazon stores probably hasn't made that much money today because I think it's like. Oh, you're checking like, your screenshots. Yeah, I can check yeah, my store. We do the same with Shopify. <laughs> so like, this is an Amazon. Well, it just started. The day just start on this one. Uh -huh. But this week it's at sixty-eight hundred and forty-five. Mm. Like this week, this is just like an automatic store. Mm -hmm. Sixty-eight. So not much of your like own involvement. No, no? none at all. Like so, I've got stores that just uh -huh. run. I've, I've got about a dozen of them that just uh -huh. like run like that. But I, I think this store finished at four thousand yesterday. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. And so it's kind of like I automated things. Uh -huh. It's kind of like what I do in everything that I jump into. I like to automate things. I even automated poker, as I told you earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so basically, like with information product, is there like any, like, so obviously, you know, some topics, they get like hot at certain times, mm -hmm. right? Do you kind of like monitor like what people want to see or like you kind of like jump on these like different trends or it's kind of like evergreen products that you're after um well i mean i've got one core evergreen product mm -hmm. and let I me mean, amazon's always a good one but if there's like a hot offer and i know somebody has it i'll find them and then promote it for them so i'll uh -huh. work as the affiliate and just jump on hot offers okay cool and so how, how do like so you mentioned like several ways of finding these products so offers that basically people can promote right so um which you found like the so the best kind of like way to find to find these offers is there any best way or like well, all of them i would i would recommend people jump on uh like people's email lists mm -hmm. so anybody that they see that sells something that uh -huh. they want to sell jump on their email list and see what they promote 
but kind of like think outside the box. Like uh, the lady with the daycare. Uh -huh. One thing that she didn't even ever think of was to promote click funnels to all the people that had daycares. And she had 800 people coming to an event that oh, had wow. daycares. And she was like, you just made me like so much money. It's not, cause I told her promote click funnels. Yeah. And I was like, she was, she's gonna get the car yeah, yeah, yeah. or the jet. And she was like so excited about that little simple idea. So you, now, right now, you're using like live webinars as, uh, as I, back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. How like what? What's typical like percentage of people like showing up on these live webinars? That's that's a real trick. So there's not like, ideally, if you're running, if you run straight to email list mm -hmm. and you tell your list, it really depends on how many offers you promote. Uh -huh. If it's a fairly like new list, like a virgin list, uh -huh. you could get. Uh, Probably 30% is a good rate. But if you're in a niche that's not info, like internet uh -huh. marketing, I know some people that are getting 50% show up rates. Oh, wow. Because it's so new to them. Yeah, they're in the financial space and, yeah, people just show up. But in info, if you're getting 30%, you're killing it. If you're getting 20%, that's still really good. Uh -huh. But if you're running ads and everything's cold, you can expect sometimes even 10%. And it still could be profitable. You can, it's still very profitable. Because yeah. I've gotten a, bu had a bunch of ones where I had 10% show up and still like killed it. Okay. And so basically like the same it's kind of like depends on the offer or depends on the time of the day like what kind of the factors it depends on the offer like how much the like my amazon offers at least 20 percent people show up uh -huh. if it's a uh, facebook like i told you e-commerce uh -huh. offer not as many people will show up but uh -huh. still people will show up because too many it, offers it depends really on the, the the way that you the sex appeal and how you uh, present the offer like angles because, right yeah because a lot of people won't present it in the right angle uh -huh. so i kind of try to like when i write the email copy i really think about what would entice the person to mm -hmm. click through and what sounds sexy and how can i make even a bonus for showing up so like i just had an amazon uh -huh. promotion where i gave everybody a bonus uh -huh. of how do, they could make a thousand dollars immediately and i showed them exactly how i did it i showed them a text mm -hmm. and I had the 100% stick through rate for the whole webinar. Mm -hmm. So everybody that showed up to the webinar stayed mm -hmm. on till the end of the webinar. It was I know, crazy. I know a lot of people, they have like, uh, for example, they would, do, they would do well with Shopify or some people, for example, they do like six, seven, you know, eight figures with like e-commerce, but their profit margins are very low. I think like if they would have like implemented, you know, some like information products or consulting, like some, some kind of those things, into their business model, I think their you know profit margins would be so much better. Right, I agree. And are you talking about people that have like uh, info products or physical products? The physical products. Oh, I think well, I definitely think with the physical products because all people are always looking for a good coach. Yeah. But the other thing is just their email list probably is a goal mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what they could sell like mm -hmm. the person and really think about the strategy of creating a long term business as opposed to just like hitting every mm -hmm. single like whatever it is like flashlight and uh -huh. then. Uh, I don't know what's hot in e -com, uh -huh. like those blankets that turn out the fire or whatever, you know, like if they didn't just hit that and thought of it like from a long-term perspective, I think mm -hmm. they could find that they could sell a lot of shit to people. And do you think that's okay to mail your list daily? I see some people do it. I don't email them daily. Uh -huh. I try to make sure it's like once a week, but then when a promo happens, uh -huh. it's like nine straight days, uh -huh. or nine, nine straight emails. Uh -huh. So they know like, oh, she's running a promo. And I straight out tell them like, listen guys, I'm about to introduce you to this awesome promo. If uh -huh. you don't want to pay attention to it, don't even read the emails uh -huh. and then just turn your head. And they'll still stay on my list because they appreciate the fact that I'm honest and I'm uh -huh. telling them I'm going to present to you an offer that's so sexy that you shouldn't refuse, but some of you should. And, and for example, how often do you typically promote, like do promotions to your um, So on, with OMG, uh -huh. we did in the first uh, 54 days of 2019, uh -huh. we did a promo every single week and we hit $2 million. Oh, wow. To your list? To the OMG list, yeah. Oh, wow. So $2 million in 54 days. And how big is the list? 92,000 approximately. Are these like all buyers? Like how, how? No, no, these are like just people that have stayed on the list and not unsubscribed. Oh, so wow. these are just people that were interested at one point in OMG. Mm -hmm. Cool, and so like the OMG by, by itself, like it's training like different kind of like areas or it's, it's more about like one specific? It's, it's like SEO, Amazon, mm -hmm. some YouTube training and local business. Okay. A digital marketing agency. So and it helps people to like to evolve from nine to five or it's typically people who already have a business and want to grow it? No, it could be like people that are brand new and just don't, just uh -huh. want to create a digital marketing agency. Mm -hmm. It'll train them how to do that. And, and then you, people that are business owners. Mm -hmm. And you shared also some tips for like maintaining like very engaged community, right? So if you can share them with... Oh, yeah, yeah. So I would like 
there's always going to be people in your community that like to talk. Like, I suck at Facebook posting, uh -huh. so I'm like the worst person. But there's people in my community that just love to chat and talk. Uh -huh. So I would reward those people and give them money and, like, pay them to mm -hmm. be the moderators and try to get as many people involved like that in your community because they're constantly answering questions. They're constantly posting mm -hmm. content. Those are the kind of people that make things work out. I mean, watch what Tim does. He does yeah, a yeah. tremendous job of that. Cool. Awesome, please. Uh, thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. I know. I know. It's 